everyone, my name is Molly and welcome to the Coastal Watershed Council's virtual tour exploring steelhead trout habitat. For this virtual tour, you will need paper, pencil, crayons, or pens. Pause the video if you need to get those now. Hey folks, it's me Sam with the Coastal Watershed Council. You may have heard tons of people around town talking about steelhead, which are an amazing type of fish that live here in our San Lorenzo River. They start as eggs, they hatch into these little tadpole looking things called alvin, and then they start a great migration. The next stage is fry and smolt, and then they head out to the ocean as adults. Now, we're here along the San Lorenzo River in Santa Cruz, and I wanted to share with you some questions. If you were a fish, a steelhead trout, why would trees be important to you? Fish don't eat trees. Fish don't make nests in trees. Fish don't climb trees or swim up trees. So why would a river have trees and why would those trees be so important to steal head trout? All right, so here's the question. Why are trees important to steal head trout? Share your ideas with someone else or write them down. up you have about 10 more seconds to think so trees are important to steelhead trout because they provide shade over the river which helps keep the water cold and steelhead trout thrive in cold water there are also lots of bugs that live in these trees and when those on a gusty windy day if those bugs fall off the tree and land in the river guess what that's super delicious food for steelhead trout so that's just a couple of reasons why these trees are super important for the fish in our river ecosystem if you've ever wondered how a tiny young steelhead trout before it grows up is able to live in a fast moving river like you see behind me i always wonder where are the places that maybe the water isn't moving so fast? Or where are some places that these fish might be able to hide and get out of the main fast flow of the river channel? So let's look around. Where in the river might be a safe space for our young fish to hide? You have about 10 more seconds to observe. Let's find out. What does Sam say? These fish might be able to hide and get out of the main fast flow of the river channel. So I look around to see where the water looks a little slower. And in fact, right over here next to me, You'll see where there's some vegetation and a small island in the middle of our river. And the water down here is deep, but it's also moving very slowly. So any fish that get tired or any fish that are too small to withstand the fast moving main stem current can find these little areas, these little eddies where the water is swirling instead of rushing them straight out to the ocean. So Sam showed us that there's a lot of habitat for our steelhead trout here at the San Lorenzo River. Now, in the past, we used to have way more fish in the river than we do now. In fact, Santa Cruz and San Lorenzo River was one of the most famous places to go fly fishing in California. But over time, we've seen less and less fish. Let's think for a second. Why do you think there might be fewer steelhead trout in the San Lorenzo River right now? seconds to think. That's a tricky one, isn't it? Well, here's a hint. 
it has to do with how much water is in the river. Now, recently, we've had a lot of storms. So we've seen some floods by the San Lorenzo River. But also over the last 10 years or so, we've seen drought where there's been very little water in the San Lorenzo River for year after year. And that has made it hard for the steelhead trout to migrate. And here's another reason why. A fun fact, 100,000 people get their drinking water from the San Lorenzo River. And it gets there by rain. That rain gets into the river. And we have these pumps that pump up the water and transport them into these pipes that go underground. The water flows through these pipes into our water treatment plant where the water gets cleaned up and filtered and then pumped back through these pipes and they empty into our faucets. And we use this water to take showers, to cook, to drink water, and for us to survive. Now, obviously, steelhead trout need water as well. They live in the water, they need the water for their migration to and from the ocean, and that's where they find the food in the water. We all live in a watershed and we all need water. So here's the question. What can we do to make sure that all of us have enough water and that all of the steelhead trout have enough water to survive? seconds to think. So there's a lot of good answers. The one I'd love to talk about is saving water. So let's share or write down two ways that we can save water to make sure there's enough water in the San Lorenzo River for the steelhead trout and enough water for us to use later on. Go ahead and share or write down those ideas. seconds to share or write down your ideas. All right, I bet you have some great ideas about how we can save water. So once this video finishes in a few seconds, go ahead and do your final project here. You're going to create a poster or maybe you'll want to make a video teaching other people about how we can save water for both ourselves and for steelhead trout. Maybe it's turning off the water while you're brushing your teeth, or maybe it's taking a shorter shower. I bet you have some great ideas to share with others. So it was so great to explore with you today. You can find other virtual tours and other activities related to steelhead trout at the Coastal Watershed Council website at coastal-watershed.org. Thanks everyone, I'll see you later.